Hello everybody and welcome to the Throwback Gaming Lobby. Be sure to grab some popcorn, kick back, and enjoy because the lobby is open and that means it's time for a brand new video. And we are back at it with some Paper Mario in this one because in the last video we got a couple of things done and we're going to continue from where we left off. Now, we forgot to turn in the calculator which we got in the last video, but we also took care of getting the first treasure chest which had the storeroom key in it, which allowed us to drop the toy train in there. So we're going to go ahead and take care of that in just a moment because I want to return this calculator first. But also guys, if you're just joining us here for the first time on the channel, make sure you check out all of the game playlists, including this one. I'm going to leave a link in the description for this one if you want to see the journey of Paper Mario from right where we started. So here we go. I'm going to go right on through here and head back to the calculator place. So I'm pretty sure you get a star piece from turning this in, so you don't have to give it to him, but if you want to buy badges here, you have to give it to him, so. Sorry, but I had to close up shop. Some idiot shy guy stole my calculator. You believe that? I need that thing to calculate sales, bud. I'm not a genius. When I find that little punk. Hey, buddy, isn't that my calculator? You're telling me you got it back from the shy guys? Yeah, in your face, shy guy. I can open my shop again. Oh man, how can I repay you? I know. Take this. This is a special badge, bud, so use it with care. Dad says we would have gone out of business if we hadn't gotten that calculator back. We can open the shop again, all because of you. Thank you, mister. Yeah, so... The I Spy badge. It's kind of good if you're doing a lot of star piece collecting, but... I don't actually have any to spare. So the hidden panels, I'll show you guys how that works a little bit later on, but just not right now while I only have 21, so. We're gonna head back to our regularly scheduled chapter four mission here. We're gonna go ahead and hit the pink station because that's the one we have access to right now. So jump back in the box. So the way you do this is you jump on this little sign uh, thing here. Yahoo! We're back in business. This train just dropped out of the sky and onto the tracks. Public transit's up and running. You can use the switches in front of the station to choose the train's direction. Have you figured out which way you want to go? Please tell me again if you're sure that's the way you want to go. All aboard? So also, if you try to go to the left... You see, the, you see the tracks there, if you try to go that way. Oh, there's a track problem. We can't go that direction. Do you see that lever way behind us on the left? If you can get over there and push it, we'll be able to continue. Yeah, so that he, just so you know, he's talking about that lever there. But we're going to go ahead and go to the pink station. Where would you like to go? So, pink station. We're leaving. All aboard. Next stop, Pink Station. Now arriving at Pink Station. You gotta love the little animation they did for the train, too. It's pretty creative. And all that moving stuff in the background is also pretty cool. Station stop, Pink Station. Welcome to Pink Station. So, obviously you can see the sign's pink, not blue anymore. And those moving flowers in the background. All part of the animation process to really give you the toy box animation. And those moving doors that open and close. Yeah, also part of it, so... Some shy guy just ran off to the right with a frying pan. Well, I just bet that he stole it from some innocent soul, and you know, he doesn't really want to cook anything with it. Shy guys are so obnoxious. So now in here... The mailbag! Why is Parakari's wings going so fast? A bag full of letters. So yeah, they were going a little bit faster if you notice in the dialogue there. Thunder Rage. Alright, so... Take care of some of these shy guys. Because again, you get so many points from battling them. You'd be crazy not to use them, so... Um... I'll use a Dizzy Dial because I want to get some of these items out of my inventory. Nice. Got them all. Nice. 
I'm gonna go ahead and try, uh, hit the meta guy. Mm. Get rid of him, I think... Okay, so only has six health, it looks like, or... No, I think my... That did three damage, so, okay. Take care of these guys, because you get so many... Like, you see them getting three apiece... You want to take advantage of that while you can, because it'll be easier to level up. There we go, get rid of him. There we go, nine star points. I didn't even realize I only have two of the, um... The star meter filled up, but whatever, it's fine. Alright, so we're gonna go over here. Just doing some battling, so... Alright, I want to take this this guy, this Groove guy out because, again, he can make you dizzy and I definitely don't want to do that. So, oh, As I hit the balloons. I didn't mean to do that. See? See, you said the dizzy attack. There we go. Get rid of him, so he won't do that again. That's fine. So I'll take out the met. Yeah, see, that's why you want to take the meta guys out first, or meta guy. I would rather the double star points. So that's get that gets really old really quick. All right, there we go. Take him out really quick. Oh, okay, or not? I was gonna heal himself again. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I definitely blocked that. Whatever. There we go. That'll do it. The rocking horse in the background and the moving clock. You gotta love all these stage elements that they did. For some reason, my super guards aren't working. I'm not doing it right. Whatever. There we go, another nine star points. Alright. Let me just check something. What badges do I have? Probably gonna increase my flower power and take one of those FP plus things off. Now in this we've got the defend. Ooh, the defend plus badge, and that's actually a really good badge to have, by the way. But it does six. So yeah, you definitely wanna. That's fine. I'm not going to use it right now. We'll go ahead back over here. Alright, so what you want to do... This is a little bit of a trick. So you want to get this shy guy. You want to lead him over here. And you want to stand right here. That's the only way you can get in. Oh! You can get in. There's a coin. Uh, oh, a chest. The Ice Power Badge. Ooh, that's gonna be good to have. Actually, I gotta put that on. Do I have enough? Takes two. Okay. I'm gonna have to level up before that, then. Thunder Rage. And the Frying Pan. So I'm gonna have to battle some more of these, uh... These shy guys because I want to get some more star points. There we go, he's done. There we go, three points. Every little bit helps. Oh, 
Oh, I see another one running over there. And I think if you just notice, there's a shy guy running in the background through the house. I don't know if I just blinked and maybe saw red for a second, but if not, that's a pretty cool effect they did. Had that sense of background realism there. Oh, yeah, there is one more. Hit him in the face with a hammer. Okay. Just take care of him. Alright. Well, that's all I can do for those. So, we're going to head back to Blue Station. And you can also see the, the font color is the color of the station, which is actually a little unique UI touch they did. And that's actually really easy to do via code, by the way, actually. It's a... I think, what is that? The, um... There's a program function called color, which lets you change, like, font colors and everything, and that's how they did that, by the way. Welcome to Blue Station, passengers. To exit the toy box, please use the jump pad on your left. Also to the left is a Shy Guy playground. Well, I'm not going that way. I'm going up here. Okay, so we're going to turn the mailbag and the frying pan in. Now, again, you don't have to do the mailbag, but... Might as well, right? the fast music. I also didn't comment on that in the last video, and I probably should have how the music got faster when you got to Toad Town. Shy guys stole a full bag of mail from us. We failed in our duty. Come rain or sleet or snow or shy guys, we're supposed to deliver no matter what. Whatever can we do? Oh, that's it. That's it. The bag. Thank you, Mario. You'll never know how many people will be happy to get mail. Let me give you a small thank you gift. Okay, so that's all set. So now we can head down to give the frying pan. Look how sad she looks. Oh, hello there, hon. Thank you for coming to visit, but I'm afraid I can't cook now. I'm so sorry. My dear old frying pan was stolen by a shy guy. It really burns me up. Oh, Mario, my dear, dear frying pan. You saved it from the Shy Guys. Thank you so much, Mario. For that, I'm going to make you something extra special. So I probably should have mentioned if you bring stuff to her, she cooks for you, so... Oh my, you're carrying too much. You can't possibly take this cake with you right now. Oh yeah, okay, so... Um, let's use the mushroom real quick here. Here's the cake. This is my most delicious cake. One taste of it won my late darling's heart. I swore I would never make it again. But you're very special, Mario. Just one bite will make anybody go gaga. So. We need that cake for the next part of the chapter to progress. So we're going to head back to the pink station and take care of the next part. Alright, guys. So I will see you over at Pink Station, but I'm going to show you really quick see the colors also. It's more like a um, almost like a magenta color, but that's what they use for Pink Station. So I'll see you guys over there. Okay guys, so we are now back over at Pink Station, and we are going to go ahead and go to the left. But before we do, I'm going to hit the save block because it's been a little bit. So our target is that lever right there because right now you see those tracks? We can't go to the green station yet, so we're going to have to go this way. 
You see those fiery shy guys back there? That's why we're gonna need the ice power badge. But before I do that, I have to level up. Oh, ah. Oh. Okay, well, it didn't matter anyway, so. Okay. Just take care of the meta guy in the back. There we go, he's done. And I'm gonna get a defensive raise, which I don't really want, but. There is a badge that you can wear that prevents you from getting first damage. I don't remember what it is, but if I find it, I'll put it on. All right, six star points. We're getting there. All right, so. I'm just going to go this way. So you see this really big gourmet guy, uh, shy guy here. His name's Gourmet Guy, but kind of just ruined that. Everybody calls me Gourmet Guy. I don't know why. I'm just an ordinary food-loving shy guy. I'm hungry. Now, you gotta give him the- anything else you give him, he just spits out. So you gotta give him the cake. Oh. Oh. Delicious. This is lip-smacking good. Yum. So a book, a book that Gourmet Guy dropped. Show it to a good cook. So yeah, I'll show you what to do with that later, but right now we obviously can't do anything with it, so... We're gonna go ahead and continue to progress through this little tunnel here. Oh, shoot. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna do the lazy way here because I don't have the ice power badge yet, so I can't really do anything with that. There we go. We just take all three of these guys out, which will give me three star points apiece. Get me to 85. And I'll get a health point back. That's cool. Ooh. Dizzy dial. Nice. Which I gotta have to use some of these items here. Alright, uh... Here, I'll use the Fright Jar, actually. Oh, well, you don't get the, uh... The star points from them, but that's okay. Um... I'll just jump on him and finish the battle off. It's kind of a bummer, you're only gonna get three star points, but that's okay. I gotta create some item space. Alright. Three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh-oh. Aw, oh, wow, he moved quick. Uh Alright. I'll use a sleepy sheep on them. I don't know if it's even gonna do any good, but. Oh, I got them all, nice. Alright. Uh, I didn't even realize that that font was blue. I didn't even pay attention to that, so sorry about that, guys. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and just take these guys all out. I've got plenty of flower power, so. I can just do this a couple of times here. guy. Alright, he'll get back up, but... Yeah, if I, if I try to jump on him, I'll get hurt. I didn't do the actual command right. But I'll get hurt if I do that, so... 
Alright. So now we're gonna go ahead and activate this lever. And that's gonna do that. So now we can go over to the next station. And I will see you guys back at the train station. Okay, guys, we are back over here, but I'm going to do one more battle so that I can level up. So, of course, before I do that. No, I'm going to take off one of my flower power pluses and throw the ice power and I'll throw ice by on to show you guys how it works. If I see one, I'll just take this guy out real quick and I'll use my thunder rage just to get it out of the way. And I will switch to Parakari. Because I'm going to level up in this video too. Because we're at 97. Might as well just finish that off. Oh. There we go. You see the little snow, the snowflake effect, which is kind of nice. There we go. So we're going to level up. I'm going to level up my flower power to get it to an even 20 where I was before. Oh. Will increase the number of coins you win. That's kind of an oh, hello. Little fortune there. Alright, so now we're gonna head over to the Oh. So I'll show you guys what that did. So you see how that little uh, blinked? If you ground pound, I don't remember exactly where it is. But basically, you can ground pound certain parts of the ground. And I'm going to do this for... Oh, see? You see that little panel? If you hit the edge of it, like that, you'll find hidden star pieces. So we're going to head over to the green station now. Green station. And by the way, that cookbook we're going to give to Tasty in the next video because we're almost done with... Um, with the video. So we're over at the green station now. Station stop, green station. Welcome to green station, passengers. So, oh. It's the same deal. Hidden star piece. Now, as you can see, you want to get those, those track things to fall. Now, that's not right. No. Nope. Alright, so we're not going to have enough time to take care of the green station in this video, so we're going to have to save that for the next one. But hopefully you guys enjoyed what you saw in this video, and if you did, Please make sure that you leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, leave a comment down below, and above all else, have a great rest of your day, and as always, stay humble.